What's up everybody, it's Coach Dragos from Strong Dragon Training and today I want to take you through another episode on gym equipment and more specifically I want to kind of hit a uh, problem that is out there that I've seen many times with my clients and what is the easy fix for it. The idea is between a straight bar bicep curl and an easy bar bicep curl. So let's dive into it and see exactly why is one better than the other and which one should you do based on your limitations. All right, so before I get into the uh, whole theory and ideas, guys, I want to thank you all for coming back and watching this video. Please hit like and subscribe. I'm posting more and more uh, videos now with educational and simple exercises. You just have to go in there, watch them quickly, get the idea, and then go apply them to yourself. And of course, I'll be putting on a few more uh, videos like this one with a little bit more explanation to give you guys a more in-depth knowledge about the uh, the gym, the gym equipment, the nutrition, etc., etc., etc. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the bicep curl. Now, everybody knows that when you do a bar bicep curl, now just imagine here, no bar whatsoever. I'm just gonna have the arms on the side over here. This is the whole motion of a bicep curl, right? When we're talking about a bar, similar to what we're talking about dumbbell, but today we're gonna focus on just the bars. Now, I would say that 65% of the clients that I've seen in my experience have always would start well and do the straight bar nicely, but then after a while or even mid-exercise, mm, my wrist is kind of bugging me. I don't know what's happening. Is it too heavy? Is it this? But then we go a little bit lighter and then, well, this now is this is too light. But what is happening? My wrist is still bothering me. Is it broken? Is it injured? Well, let's bring it down to a little bit more to your past, what you have done in, in your uh, gym experience. So, you might have had an injury. Your wrist just may be weak. Your ligaments, your tendons are not strong enough to be able to sustain that kind of pressure or simply put, you're just not flexible enough. When you're grabbing a straight bar, it requires your hand, obviously, to go in and grab it this way. Let me grab it a little bit easier of a bar so I can show you exactly. So, when you grab it, it's right over here. So, you have to twist your forearm in such a fashion that for some people when this happens and now you are putting in and acting in weight on it, you're putting weight on this lever, you'll be tempted to do this with the wrist. This to gain in all the power. So this is telling me that A, you're not flexible, but B, your biceps are developed that you Obviously, we know there's two heads in the biceps, right? So the medial head and the uh, the lateral head, but they always work in union. It's There's no such thing as isolating one head over the other, but based on how you twist your arm and how you twist the, uh, the forearm, you can emphasize a little bit more on one than the other, right? That's it, you never fully uh, exclude one head or the other. So when you're doing this kind of a motion, it's telling me that your inner head, your medial head of the bicep is a little bit stronger than your lateral head. So you're more tempted to when lifting your arm up, you'll be tempted, a little bit of exaggeration here, to do this, right? So when that happens, now you're forcing yourself, and yes, I know this is a lat pull down bar, but that was just a little bit uncomfortable to get into my small space over here. So bear with me here for a second, guys. So when you're doing this kind of a bicep curl and you have weight on it, now you're tempted to squeeze it in, twist the wrist in, squeeze it in, and now you're applying torque on an immovable object, right? You cannot twist this kind of a bar. So what happens? It gives you pain in the wrist, and then some people start compensating by going like this on the bar, which you're throwing away, A, you're injuring your hand at this point, and B, you're defeating the whole purpose of the exercise. So what is the way out for uh, for these kinds, of, uh, these kinds of situations, right? For these clientele, if your case is the same. I move them in over to the easy curl bar. Now, I'm probably sure that if you guys have been in a gym once or twice, this is a very common piece of equipment in the gym, the easy bar. Reason why it's easy, well, it kind of looks like a Z over here. I guess you can look at the whole thing. It maybe looks like an E. I don't know. It just makes it, bottom line, makes it easier for your wrist to grip on because look what's happening now. Now I'm not forced to hold the bar horizontal like this, I can have a little bit of an angle. So now I'm allowing that motion to pull with the wrist inwards, giving me much more force, much more strength to work the biceps. So 
is one better over the other? Yes and no. Now, if we're going to the real details of, I've trained people going in for competition, people who actually are looking for those small little details, that definition of bicep and things like that, then yes. We need to really focus on this kind of a bar and then we need to focus on the easy curl type of bar. So now there's a whole other aspect of really working on the forearm, really stretching the forearm, gaining that flexibility and trying to treat those wrists and really kind of moving the wrist on the bar properly so that we don't have that kind of a discomfort, that kind of pain, that kind of restriction when it comes to lifting weights. However, if we're working with the average uh, person who is just looking to get into shape, just looking to get some strength in the bicep, just to sculpt the biceps a little bit, then your easy curl bar is the way to go. And I highly recommend you guys that if you have any kind of pain in your wrist while doing a straight bar curl, switch right away to the easy curl because I can almost guarantee you that if you continue and keep on doing that and try yourself to, you know, doctor it up and try to heal it up with any way or better the exercise anyway, you're just gonna cause more and more and more damage. And the wrist is one of those uh, joints that a, you use it daily. Every every single living, breathing minute of your day, you use the wrist. You need this joint to be fully functional throughout the day. Now, that means it's a lot of wear and tear, a lot of demand on this wrist. And when an injury happens, it is very, very difficult to heal this injury. It's very difficult because you can't really let your wrist on the side and, okay, go ahead, heal now. Keep it for a couple of days like that. Good luck with that, especially if you're right hand or left hand and you need to write or things like that. Forget about it. And especially, don't get me started on texting. Can you imagine if you take the other texting away from the people, you can't use the wrist? Oh, I can't use the wrist. You'll be screwed. You'll be screwed completely. <laughs> so, the uh, easy curl bar is your best option because it still activates the biceps in a proper format. It still allows you to keep the proper form of the movement and it takes away that discomfort of your wrist. Eight out of 10 people will always prefer to do a bicep curl like this with the other uh, wrist as opposed to this way. That's a lot of straight. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, if it was up to me, I would always prefer to do the easy curl bar over the straight bar. However, because of my goals and what I'm looking to aim from the point of view of the workout, I need to do a combination of this. So I have found ways of bettering my straight bar and strengthening my wrist so I don't have to worry about that down the road. Now, is that to say that if one of my clients said, you know what, my wrist hurts, uh, I'm just gonna put them on an easy curl bar and say, deal with it, don't worry, we'll never do that again. Not necessarily. There's ways, there are exercises, treatments, there's a support that you can all do for your wrist in order to strengthen up, even if you never do the straight bar. That doesn't mean you need to live with that discomfort in the wrist. And again, point and note, be careful, it may not be just a small injury, it may not be just a, a tightness, it could be more serious problems. So I suggest that if you don't have somebody to really assess the wrist and really look at what is happening in that wrist, it could be a more serious problem that may require you to go to your doctor, maybe get uh, some kind of screening done to see what is happening inside. It could be something as bad as uh, arthritis, something that you can't really do anything about it. It's there, it's always gonna be there, and it's always gonna hurt, especially when weather changes. Anyways, bottom line is, I wanna go back just a little bit to why is it so important for some people to do a straight bar versus an easy curl bar? Or what is the benefit of doing that and not just continuing on with the easy bar? It's doing the same motion, you're still working the same muscle. So I wanna show you guys right over here. So you can see the bicep over here, I hope you can see it in the light. When my arm is like this, look at that. You see the movement in the head of the bicep by me just simply twisting my wrist. I'm not moving anything up and down, right, from the elbow. All I'm doing is I'm twisting the wrist and you can see the head of the bicep moving, tightening and stretching, tightening and stretching, shortening rather, not tightening, shortening and stretching, shorten and stretch. So this is what is telling you that when you have a full twist of your wrist, now you are shortening that head of the bicep. Now you're isolating the head of the bicep a little bit more, which at the end of the day, when you're doing something like a curl and you hold at the top with that extra little twist, 
you're getting extra peak work, what they call in bodybuilding when you pose, you want the bicep peak, you want the head of the bicep to really pop out, right? To be like a mountain type idea. So this is where these kind of curls are important. But now, boom, I'm putting it in this way. Even when I squeeze at the top, when I do that extra twist of the wrist, I can feel the bicep uh, muscle shortening just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And for your average every day, get into shape, stay healthy, stay strong, that doesn't make much of a difference, right? Yes, it helps, but it's not critical to working the bicep. But when we're talking now about people who are looking to get to that stage level, get to a show or, you know, bodybuilders or, you know, whichever, classic physique, things like that, they need that extra little edge everywhere they can get it. So it's very critical and crucial that you are able to do uh, these kinds of grips on the uh, on the bicep curl in order to be able to get that peak and work on it. Now, is there other ways to work towards that peak? Yes, there is. But again, variation, variety always has the muscle and the body responding better. Now, one more thing I want to cover with you guys. If if, let's say, case in point, the person that uh, we're dealing with just cannot do the bar. You know what? I need to have that bicep peak, but I cannot do the bar. What am I going to do right now? Am I going to lose my show? Am I not going to go on there? No. Like I said, there's many different exercises you can do over, over the gym field. But one simple thing that I'm going to tell you guys you can do is switch from the bar to the dumbbells. Okay, now I know this video is specific about between the bars, the straight bar and the easy curl bar, and I've given you the idea and the example of the difference between the two of them and why one is better over the other and why you kind of need both in which situation. But if you get into the point case scenario where I need to do the wrists this way, I need to have them horizontal because of that whole workout and extra little peak and extra little fiber activation, I can have the easy curl bar. What are we going to do? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab one of these guys. When you have this kind of a motion of the biceps, nine out of 10 times, you will be able to hold the bicep horizontal or the rather the, uh, the forearm and the wrist horizontal as opposed to having to go like this. With the dumbbells, you have this extra little bit of freedom, this extra little bit of less restriction that you will be able to work with, adjust, align, and make it work so that you're copying the straight bar curl, but you're not hurting the wrist just as bad. So keep this in mind, guys. With the dumbbells, you have that little bit of freedom because now you don't have a bar in the middle. So if one wrist twists a little bit or twists even less or anything like that, plus you don't have the weight being distributed over such a, a long mass and you have them on the outside, it's much more uh, small, much more concentrated. It is much more biomechanically easy for your body to control and not put pressure on the wrist when it comes to a dumbbell as opposed to when it comes to a bar. So if you guys have trouble with your wrist and you've been stuck with doing easy bar curls, for example, for the last couple of weeks or months or years, because you were just afraid of a straight curl bar, but it never came across to you to go through the dumbbells and keep the same classic dumbbell curl. Maybe you've gone through the dumbbells, but you were afraid because your mind is telling you, uh oh, my wrist is gonna hurt me, and you just went to hammers. Try it this time. Go into the gym, grab yourself a pair of dumbbells, keep them right up front, in the classic fashion and go up. Come on down and go up. See how horizontal they are? Do you see? It's almost like I'm having a bar right now. But because of the, uh, the versatility and the flexibility and the freedom that dumbbells uh, allow you across the board, it's not just with the, uh, the biceps, it's across the board. They allow you so much more freedom. You are now able to do an exercise which when you're doing it with a connected bar like this, both hands are on the bar, you will find it more difficult to handle. But when it comes to the dumbbells, it's easier to maneuver, easier to go around, less pressure on your, uh, on your joints and wrists, and you'll have an overall better time. So try that out for me, guys. If you, if you have been in this pickle and you couldn't figure it out, try it out. Let me know how it works for you guys. Because like I said, 9 out of 10 times, it will work for you in order to get the, uh, the straight horizontal wrist movement that you couldn't get with the bar. But again, I am cautioning you guys that if it's more than just 
tightness, maybe a little bit of strain, maybe this and this. you're having more problems in the wrist, like maybe you broke it, or maybe you have uh, arthritis, etc., etc., etc. I highly suggest you go to your doctor, get it checked in, get some screening done, and see exactly what's happening in the wrist. If you still find that there's pain when you're doing the other bicep curls with the dumbbells, this should raise some flags that there's something wrong in there and it needs to be fixed. By just letting it go and letting the body fix itself, you are just kind of putting a band-aid on top of a band-aid, right? It may feel good, but when you're trying to do exercise or motions or movement, it comes back to hurt you. And way down the road, a couple of years more, it's gonna come back to hurt you again. So please be very watchful of that. But easiest case scenario, if you're just trying to switch, you haven't done it, you're trying it right now, please let me know how it worked for you. I'm really curious to get some feedback from you guys. And again, if you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. I'll be posting more of these. And if you have any questions and more details about this bar, please, Post them right below. I answer within 24 hours ASAP. And if I need to, I'll make a video for you guys as well just to answer that question. My name is Coach Dragon from Strong Dragon Training, the flame of fitness. I'll catch you guys on the next one.